G'day everyone, Percy here from toptechskills.com. In this tutorial, I'll take you through the Ansible copy module. I'll show you how to copy files and directories from your local host to a remote host, how to set permissions on your copied files, how to copy files between locations on the remote host, and finally, a super useful tip about how you can write content directly from your playbook into a file on the remote host using the copy module. As always, if you'd like to skip ahead to other sections of the video, please use the time codes in the description. And if you're curious to learn more, there's also a link in the description to a full in-depth article on toptechskills.com. All right, let's jump in. The first thing I'm going to use the copy module to do is to copy a file from our local host onto our remote host. I'm going to create a new task in our playbook and I'm going to call it copy file to remote host. Now we need to create a file that we're going to copy over. By default, Ansible looks for a files directory to search for files when we use the copy module. In the left-hand side, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm gonna call it files, and inside, I'm going to create a new file called test file. Inside there, I'm just going to put a little hello world string, save it, and let's go back to our playbook to copy it over to the remote hosts. I'm gonna use the copy module. The source is going to be test file without files in front of it. Remember by default, Ansible is going to look for everything inside the files directory. And for the destination, let's just use home and we'll write it to test file. Let's run the playbook and see what happens on both of our remote hosts. The playbook is just running now and that should copy file, that single test file to both of our hosts. Let's run over and look in CentOS. If I run ls, you can see that the test file is there. If I cat the contents of the test file, we see a little hello world string and the same should be true on Ubuntu. Cool, hello world on both of those. And that's the most basic way that you can use copy. Just create a file in the files directory and use the copy module with the source and the destination value set. So what if we wanna copy multiple files from our local host to a remote host? That's easy enough to do with a loop. The first thing I'm going to do in my file browser on the left-hand side here is to create a new file. I'm just gonna call this test file two. And in there, I'm just gonna do a random string to show that it's different from the original test file. Back in our playbook, I'm going to add the loop keyword here, and we're going to loop over both of our local files. So I've got test file and test file two. Now, since we're using a loop, we need to change the source and destination parameters here to use the item from the loop. So I'm gonna set the source to the item and the destination, I'm also going to use the item in there. So if I put item there, let's run our playbook against both of the hosts and see what happens. This should copy both files from our local host to the remote host. You can see here in the output that it succeeded for both of those items. Let's go over to the hosts and take a look. So yes, we have test file and test file two. Let's cat star. So we have hello world and hello two. So that's catting both of those files. Let's have a look on the Ubuntu host. Yes, and let's make sure that we've got the correct output. Yes, test file has hello world and test file two has hello two. That's awesome. So that's how you copy multiple files from your local host to a remote host. The next thing we'll do with the copy module is to copy a directory recursively from the local host to the remote host. On the left-hand side, I've prepared a test directory inside our files directory. Inside the test directory, I have an inner directory and a test file. And once more, inside the inner directory, I have another inner file, just to show you the nuances of the copy module when it comes to copying directories. I'm going to create a new task called copy directory to remote host. We're going to use the copy module and for the source, I'll set this to testdir. And for the destination, I'm going to show you some little unintuitive behavior of the copy module when you're copying directories. I'm going to set this to testdir in the same way that we did with the files. Now, if I run this playbook, what you'd expect is for our testdir to just be copied into the home directory. But as you'll see, when the playbook finishes running and we go over to our host, let's run tree on the local directory. What you can see is that what it's done is it's put the test directory file structure that we wanted to copy into home inside the test directory inside home. So it's nested it an extra time and I don't want that. What I'll do here is I'll just remove this on both hosts and we'll run it again to show you how we need to do it properly. Whenever we're copying directories, what we'd like to do is just remove any directory on the outside. If I run this now against both hosts, you'll see that the behavior is what we expect. We expect testdir to just be in home directly. Once that finishes running, let's jump over to the hosts. Let's run tree again. And you can see that yes, on our home directory, we have testdir with innerdir, inner file and test file. This is what we want. We don't want that extra nesting. And that's correct on both of those hosts. 
Now, another little unintuitive thing that can happen with the copy module when you're copying directories is if I put a forward slash at the end of this, let me run back and just remove all of the files on both hosts, just so it's clean. And we'll have a look what happens when we put a forward slash at the end of test DIR in our copy module on the source. Once that playbook finishes running, we'll have a look at what happens on the hosts. Now, if I run tree on the Ubuntu instance, you can see that it's only got in a dir, in a file and test file. The outer, the outer directory hasn't been copied and the same will be true on CentOS. We just have the inner directory and test file. Now, that's because we put a forward slash at the end of it, which is also a little bit unintuitive, but if that's what you want, if what you'd like to copy is the contents of test DIR into the home directory, this is how you do it. So that's all the behavior of copying directories with the copy module. You just need to be careful about how you're doing things and you may need to test it first. Another super common task for the copy module is to set the ownership and permissions of a file as you copy it to the remote host. This is a really common pattern if you're configuring an application with a file and you'd like to limit the number of people that can access the configuration file. I've got a little demo application configuration file here in my files directory called myapp.conf and I'd like to copy that over to our remote hosts. I'm going to set the destination to etsy myapp.conf. I'm going to set the owner to root, the group to root, and then the mode to 0600, which is going to prevent any users other than root from being able to read or write to that file. Since we're setting ownership and writing to the Etsy directory, I'm going to need become true. Now let's run this playbook against both of our hosts and confirm that those permissions have been applied correctly on both of them. I'm going to jump over to the host now. I'm gonna run ls-lah on Etsy and then myapp.conf. And we can see here that yes, on the CentOS machine, we have 0600 permissions with the owner of root and a group of root. Let's confirm this on the Ubuntu instance as well. We're going to Etsy myapp.conf. And yes, we have the 0600 permissions with the owner root and group root. So we use the owner group and mode parameters here to the copy module to set the ownership and permissions of a file as we copy it over to a remote host. Something else the copy module can do is to copy files between locations on the remote host. I've pre-prepared a little playbook down here which copies a local test file to the remote host. And now what I'd like to do is to copy that test file from one location on the remote host to another location on the remote host. I'm going to create a new task here called copy file on remote host. Now we're going to be using the copy module. The source will be home test file, which is the file on the remote host. The destination will be another destination on the remote host. I'm gonna call this testfile.copy. Now, since we're copying files on the remote host, we need to tell Ansible this, and we do that with the remote underscore source uh, parameter, and we set that to true, and that tells Ansible that we're copying files between locations on the remote host. If we're on this playbook now, what we should expect is the first task to copy our local file to the remote host, okay, and that succeeded, and finally, we'd like to copy that file between locations on the remote host. Let's jump over to our instance and take a look. If we're on ls here, you can see that yes, we have test file as well as test file copy on Ubuntu, it should be the same. So we have test file and test file copy. So that's how you copy files between locations on a remote host using the copy module. Another super useful thing that the copy module can do is to write content, a text string directly to a file without having a file on your local host. I'm gonna create a new task here called uh, write content to file. Now we're going to use the copy module. Since we're not writing a file, we don't need to set the source. Let's just set the destination directly. I'm going to write to home test file and we're going to set the content parameter. First, I'm just going to set a string. Let's write hello world. And I'm just going to put a new line at the end of that. So it prints a little bit nicely when we're on the system. Let me run that playbook against both the hosts and just confirm that the file is being made on both the hosts with the content we expect. Let's go over, let's run ls. Yes, we can see test files there. Let's cat test file and see what comes out. Hello world, just as expected. Let's make sure it's there on the other host as well. Let's cut the output and beautiful, we have hello world in there. But we're not just limited to static strings, we can also write templated content. So if I replace hello world with, let's say Ansible host, this will now print the IP into that file directly from that string. I'm running the playbook again against both the hosts and we'll compare the output now. So let's cat the test file again on Ubuntu. And you can see here that we've got the IP of the host there rather than hello world. On CentOS, let's cat test file again and again. We have the IP there rather than hello world. So that's a super useful little way that you can just print little one-liners into files without having a local file. Uh, if you're printing a lot of different lines with templated text or something like that, I highly recommend using the template module instead 
But if you just need to write a single line, this is a really useful way to do it. Thanks for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed that Ansible copy module tutorial. If you have any questions about anything that you saw in the video, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.